Hi, this is Dave Thomas. I'm associate editor at Dark Views, and I'm very uh, happy to introduce C.S. Kane, whose debut novella Shattered is out now. And uh, this is her first book with us, and actually uh, your first book in the in the U.S. as well. So congratulations. We're very happy to have you here. So we just wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk about the book and, and talk about your background and how you started writing. And So Shattered, the idea about the book... Where did it come from? Where how did this uh, how did it come to be? Well, I started writing Shattered um, quite a few years ago, and um, when I was a student in university, um, I have had sort of lived in my first year of kind of student accommodation, and I guess it sort of sparked from that. Um, and I started thinking about sort of haunted house stories, and sort of really got into kind of Victorian haunted house stories um, and picked up the turn of the screw and um, which is really the sort of inspiration for it um, because I was sort of fascinated by the way that in that um, book the governess it's kind of ambiguous and you don't know whether the, the governess is sort of mad or she's really seeing what she's saying mm -hmm. and uh, I sort of started thinking about what would happen if a modern girl you know today uh, I started seeing visions. What would what would she do? How would she react? Um, considering that we're so sort of focused on taking care of ourselves, our mental health, things like that, would she go speak to a doctor? What, you know, what way would it go? Would she think it was something supernatural? Especially the way um, people are so skeptical now. Um, so it really just started from there, and I started to explore explore those ideas through the character of Stacey. They sort of delved right into the psychological aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting that I thought um, the the building itself uh, is almost a character to itself. Um, well, uh, like I said, we sort of living in student accommodation um, around the city where I went to university, there is quite a lot of sort of old Victorian buildings. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, a lot of the communal spaces aren't really great when you first walk in. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess just through those experiences, um, what I did was just sort of amplified not as nice side of, of, of living in a place like that. You know, I'm sure there's like loads of great places as well, but um, uh, I just sort of amplified that. And then are these things amplified in your own head or are these things really happening? So sort of noises, you know, where you, you know yourself, you get frightened if, if you're in sort of like a creepy house mm -hmm. and you hear, you hear noise, it's like, ooh. and it was sort of the imagination, um, whether that was what was going on or not. This is your real, I mean, this is your first full-length fictional debut, um, correct? I mean, in this format? Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. Um, short stories or flash fiction or anything before that, or was this just kind of the first thing that you just penned? No, that was it. That, that, I'd sort of, since I was a little kid, I sort of always wrote myself stories and, and things like that, didn't show them to anyone, just for my own amusement, poems, things like that, but mm -hmm. this was the first thing that it, that I wrote that I thought I might someday send to someone. Um, it took a while, but I sent it in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're glad you did, of course. Um, Thanks. Did um, yeah? I, we were talking a little bit too about you know how different people um, have styles and how they write stories. And um, I think you mentioned that you're not an outliner. You just kind of you let the story run with itself. And that's is that pretty much how how Shattered was written too. It's just kind of a you know how your mind went with it, and which which scenes. Um, I mean, did you write them out of sequence, or did you write everything from start to finish, and and that's how it went? Or yeah, um, I I sort of started to write everything start to finish, um, but I didn't finish it, and I put it away for quite a while, mm -hmm. and then I um, was I fell ill and, and went back, pulled it out, pulled it out of the folder, and finished it, and um, so. Uh, there was a bit of a break, but I think that was a good thing because it meant that when I looked back over it, I could see what I needed to, to work on. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely, yeah, I just I just sit down and start and don't stop normally till I'm finished. Um, and let the characters kind of kind of drive it more than anything. Um, I don't sort of have a plan for how they're going to react to everything. I just sort of as things happen. Mm -hmm. When did you start? Um thinking you know what I th I really I want to start writing and I want to start doing this professionally and I, I you know I have all these ideas and I, I think I really want to make a go at this what at what point in your life did you really make that decision 
Um, it would have been 2010. Um, I, like I said, I'd sort of written since I was a kid, different things, different bits and pieces. And then kind of, I suppose, life got in the way, sort of studying, work, uh, mortgage <laughs> around us. And, um, and then I fell sick um, and I fell out of employment. And I was sort of sitting at home and there's sort of only too much daytime TV can watch. So I, like I said, I put the manuscript out and I thought, this is something that I've done my whole life. It's sort of something that I kind of do whenever things are getting a bit tough. I just go away and write. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to this time. I'm going to do it all the time because it's what I want to do. And I think it was kind of helpful that I kind of got that push because it would be a big decision to to kind of leave work and do it full time. Um, but I'm glad, you know, it's like something, you know, Bit optimistic, like you know, sometimes things happen for a reason, and it, and it was great just to be able to get that opportunity just to sit and write and write every day. Mm -hmm. So, something really positive from something really negative, it's um, it's kind of interesting how life ends up turning out sometimes. Do you draw any kind of inspiration from where you live? Well, definitely in Shattered, I've sort of set it in a fictional town, um, so I have which which is good because I think it can translate between sort of American and British readers, you know, um, but definitely I would um, visit different locations to get inspiration, um, and I have like a folder on my computer where I take, you know, I take pictures, a lot of pictures, a lot of black and white photos, um, so uh, the city for definite Belfast is, is a place I love, definitely, sort of part of it, like, you know, um, there's a lot of creative things going on there at the minute, which is great. Um, and the architecture, the old buildings, things like that, were just just full of inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, there's loads of rural places around Northern Ireland, um, sort of forests, things like that, rare castles, everything. So I just continuously taking photos and trying to get ideas. Um, quick be country lanes, mm -hmm. definitely. You know, bogs, things like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> In Northern Ireland, I mean, um, they're using a lot of it for the Game of Thrones film and that. So, yeah, it's, it's just beautiful, like... So, so your next book is probably going to be something uh, Game of Thrones ish then. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to write fantasy when I was a teenager, but I don't know if it's going. To... <laughs> um, yeah. So, are, are what are you working on now? Um, I've got a couple of novellas I'm working on at the moment, and I've finished a novel, but uh, it's just with a reader at the moment. So, um, <laughs> looking forward to getting the notes back on it, but. Um, it's a little bit different. It's it's uh, not so much. There's not a supernatural element in it. It's it's more like a kind of killer. Sort of. So what what has always drawn you, um, you know, to the to the darker side of writing? Um, I know we've talked about you know movies and um, you know and books and everything else, and I. You know, I'm drawn to the dark um, books. I probably have since I was a kid, and I think we probably share a similarity in that. I remember my aunt, you know, forced me to watch A Nightmare on Elm Street when I was a kid, and yeah. I was horrified, and at the same time, I couldn't get it out of my head, and I thought, wow, I just, I love horror all of a sudden, I, I just love this stuff because it's so fantastical, but um, what's it been for you? Has it, was it some influence or some major event, or was it just this type of fiction and these kinds of movies just always spoke to you? Yeah, no, um, just whenever I was a little kid, I kind of come from a big Irish family, so there is always that kind of um, element of being told really scary stories at bedtime. And like my mom used to sing like murder ballads, which sounds awful, but <laughs> it's just part of the culture, you know. It sort of made sure you didn't talk to any strangers um, for one, um, you know. So that was kind of where it started, I guess. Um, that sort of fascination with witches and banshees and evil, not the call of all different things. Um, but uh, it started there, and then as I sort of grew up, I just really got into like Edgar Allan Poe and, and reading a lot of that whenever I was a teenager, and um, loved anything, sort of Tim Burton, Adam's Family, all that sort of darker darker side of things. Um, Mount Goody's Coming Morticia, it's always very serious. <laughs> always wearing black, you know, never smiling. Um, so I guess it's just always been there, and... Um, I, I just feel really passionate about it, you know. It's, it's a great genre and and it's thrilling, like it's, it's it's exciting, you know, when you get scared. I love that feeling, you know. 
kind of like so what, what was what was your feeling um since this was your first book um the day it's released i mean what did you do did you kind of were you nervous were you excited were you, you know did you you know crack a bottle of uh something good to drink uh you know what you know I was um, petrified in some ways. <laughs> like I was very nervous um, because I hadn't really showed anybody anything um, before. Um, so really, the people that read it when it was released were kind of like the first people to read it, apart from you know yourself and my husband. That's it. Um, so I really just got a celebratory takeaway and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, that's but a good celebration. That was it. I was relieved when I, when I actually saw it up on on Amazon. You know, and it's sort of. For, for a wee while, it was in between Stephen King and Anne Rice, and I was like, woohoo! So, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's kind of the the final question I had is that since you are, you're fairly, um, well, you are, you're a very young writer, you're just, you're just starting out, um, you've just kind of made that decision. Do you have any kind of advice to other people, you know, kind of sitting around that are maybe thinking about writing and um, not sure if they should? And, I mean, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Just um, I think I would probably say just... Um, sit down and, and write and just do it, just get it all out and also um, look for some, look for advice, like seek out sort of guidance and knowledge and, and sort of learn as much as you can. Research is really important as well. Um, the great thing about working with you guys and, um, you know, meeting people online through like Facebook and Twitter and stuff is there's just such a great community out there, especially for horror fans and writers, you know. And it's great to be a part of it because I'm a fan first and foremost, and and it's just thrilled to be, you know, mm -hmm. doing, doing this. And um, so that's what I would say, you know, um, just sit down and do what, do the work, and then don't be afraid to show it down. Good words of advice, <laughs> and um, we're very happy to have you. And I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down and let us, um, you know pour through your brain a little bit about your processes. C.S. Kane's novella, Shattered, is now available on Amazon. It's also available through Darkfuse. And uh, you can visit her on the web at cskane.com, the newly designed website, which looks absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for doing this. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm.